Today, Robert Deere said they want to turn me into a zombie. He is the man accused of killing three people, wounding eight others at the Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs back in 2015. In court today in Denver, federal prosecutors are trying to convince a judge to force Deere to take medication that they say would restore his mental competency and allow him to stand trial. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo has been in court all day, and Matt, there have been several outbursts as well from Deere during this hearing. That's right, Kim. In addition to the zombie comment, Deer also said that it was against his religion to take antipsychotic medication. And when prosecutors said that taking the medication would allow Deer to take part in his own defense, Deer said simply, quote, there is no defense. I did it. Deer has been charged in both state and federal court for the 2015 attack. But both cases have been on hold for years because Deer has repeatedly been found not competent to stand trial. A psychologist for the Federal Bureau of Prisons said today in court that Deer has refused to take antipsychotic medication that prosecutors say would likely make Deer competent to stand trial. So today, prosecutors were in court arguing that Deer be forced to take the medication. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson talked about the legal hurdles that prosecutors have to clear to be successful. The medicine has to be medically appropriate. It has to be reasonably likely to restore the individual to competency without creating side effects that interfere with his ability to help his counsel. And you then weigh the governmental interests. That really focuses on the seriousness of the case, seriousness of the case. And you really can't get a more serious case than the Planned Parenthood murders. The hearing is scheduled to conclude sometime tomorrow. No word yet from the judge on when a decision is expected. Kim and Tom. Well, this certainly has been going on for quite some time already, this back and forth. We will continue to follow it. Thanks for the update, Matt.